Hey there everybody, welcome back to Squeal's Gaming Channel. Today we're playing Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis, or PSO2. Um, and I wanted to have the map pulled up here because today they've dropped the second major expansion for this game, unlocking the third area, the winter area, which is going to be this section up here. Um, I haven't started anything yet. Um, I don't really have a certain goal in mind for this video. I just kind of wanted to dive into the content. This game's a little bit more of a... It's not as scripted of as an experience as some of my other games. Um, this over here is actually, from what I've seen, like looking in the distance, uh, this is like a volcano. So we're going to get into a little bit of that today. I just kind of wanted to show you guys what's new. Um, I may do a set of weekly orders, which is kind of like the main way that I've stayed in this game as far as like keeping my experience and stuff up. Right now I'm in the main town. Um... Just going to kind of try to slowly break into what's new and maybe even show you guys kind of how I go about the weeklies. Um, just in case maybe you're looking for a more effective way to grind experience. Um, if you have any other pointers, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm sure that there's other things I could do that would increase my efficiency even more. Um, but before we get into the new content, I wanted to highlight this character. She was dropped in one of the recent updates. Um, if, if those of you that have played the original PSO2, you know, you kind of remember there was there was more efficient ways to experience grind in that one. You had, like, routine quests. Um, I've done most of the ones for this character. Just going to go ahead and accept the ones that I don't have currently equipped. These, these reset, so you can always stack these up. I generally take all of them except for the dread enemy. I don't worry about that one just because I have trouble finding dread enemies for some reason i don't know um another thing you can always do real quick is head over here to this counter every well, this is once a week um i usually do a quick little item enhancement i usually keep a couple weapons that i'm not really is worried about using um i don't have anything currently i'm working on so i'm just going to pick a random weapon uh we'll go ahead and use these knuckles since i don't use knuckles because you have to sacrifice a weapon to upgrade other stuff in the item enhancement. This, uh, there might be better videos out there for more an in-depth how to do the this if that's not really something you're familiar with. I'm already kind of banking on some of the people watching this video. I've already played PSO and they know kind of what's going on. But anyway, there's that done. 50,000. Made a little bit of money. And, uh... Yeah, so that, that task is out of the way real quick. Let's go ahead and look at our tasks. Um, right here, you basically, you're usually focusing on your daily and weeklies, as some of you may already know. You know, you got your set of dailies. Same, they reset every day. Then you got your weeklies that reset every week. These are generally kind of the same ones, but sometimes they have slightly differing ones. I don't always do all these. Sometimes I'll only play one day a week. Um, but you usually have, like, do an urgent quest, which is cool. Not sure what the new urgent quest is going to be. I imagine there will be one. If I see that pop up, assuming I'm the appropriate power level, we may actually go ahead and tackle that. Um, but I usually just go after the 500 kills. Um, and that's that's really about it as far as the weeklies. Limited time stuff. I don't pay attention to this a whole lot. These are always changing. Um, but here's one right here, a limited time event just to travel to the new region and complete that, whatever that means. There should be new story missions for this. I don't really pay much attention to the PSO story. Most games I usually try to focus on that, but not this time. I'm going to go ahead and focus on this task here, just because I'm not sure exactly where this is all going to take us. But alright, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, my next stop actually is going to be right over here real quick. The food stand. We'll knock out one of our daily orders. And just make some food based on whatever. I usually just throw whatever I got in there. Hey, my subclass leveled up. Yeah, eat my little meal. That's one daily out of the way. Now, normally, my next step would be to travel to... I'll show you guys real quick just so I can do when I get to that point. I'll go over here because there's this little guy right here. Um, he's another one of the dailies. You feed him an item kind of similar to what I just did there, and that'll be another daily. And since he's right here next to the fast travel point, unlike pretty much all these other guys, you can just walk right up to him. That's what I'm going to do next. But before that... We're going to talk to Crawford. Um, basically what we're trying to do now is get the new DLC to pretty much activate through talking to people and being sent in that direction since it was previously locked. Crawford's like the little leader guy, I guess, of the settlement. Thank you all for coming. How's settlement 
they kill it with the voice acting in this game, let me tell you. But yeah, just a quick little tease. There's Crawford. Um, like I said, I'm not. I don't. I don't mess with PSO story. It's just gonna be specifically me skipping through all that. So please forgive me if that's uh, if you're on the edge of your seat with the PSO storytelling. <laughs> Loading, loading, loading. Alright. Up oh, now, we got somebody else trying to talk. Dozer? Yeah, see, they want us to go to this new area now. Some new people to talk to, other than just Crawford. Oh, here's a guy right here. An ARCS instructor. He might have some quests for us. That's always the thing, too. We're going to try to identify maybe some characters like this guy that are going to be new that we didn't see before because they may bring more quests to the table that weren't available before. Um, and this guy's quest is for me to just go talk to another guy. So, you know, we're <laughs> it's going to be a little tedious at first. Alright, now that that's done. Oh, yes. This is another new thing over here. So this guy wanted us to talk to this character, but this is a new quest counter of sorts. I have not actually messed with it yet. So let's see um, what exactly this is going to bring forward. Oh, yeah, so you can replay stuff here, like story missions and stuff. Um, the limited time quests, the trigger quests. I don't think that's really going to be stuff I'm too interested in. I haven't even messed with the trigger quests at all. But, yeah, you can replay... Like, pretty much all these, if you wanted. So that's cool, I guess, if that tickles your fancy. But now we're going to start making our way, actually, towards the new area. But before I do that, real quick, I'm going to add a little bit of suspense to it, because I want to knock out these dailies. So, first we're going to head over here, as I just mentioned, and get this one done. And I'm just kind of doing this, just because, one, I need to do it, and two, just because it's like... There's a lot of different ways you can grind the experience in this game, but I have found that this game can be pretty repetitive and pretty monotonous at times, so anything to make your grind more efficient, I think, is well worth your time. I'm going to play with the light here. Woo! Go down the wormhole. Alright, here we are. Now, when you turn around, you just run right up here, and he's going to be at the top of this little mountain here. Hop up there. Glide up here, whoop, and there he is. Run up to him, feed him something. Ta da, and that's another one done. So now, out of the weekly tasks, we still have. Let's try to find some vegetables in South Retum real quick. This guy has a little dance off in the background. South Retum. Oh, the desert. Okay, so we're going over here. Now, the desert was the second DLC area. You guys are probably familiar with it. Um, if not, I apologize. I'm not going to focus too much on the desert area in this video, but we are going to see a little bit of it because my next two dailies are going to be in the desert here. I feel like I'm due for a new upgrade to my wardrobe. They haven't done as well with the cosmetics in New Genesis, I feel like, as they did with PSO2, but it's been a minute since I bought a new outfit, so after this video I may actually take to the player store and get some new clothes, but I do kind of like this little outfit I'm rocking here. Alright, so we're looking for vegetables. There's a gold box right there. It is helpful that I have the quest marked. So we should be looking for a little white square thing. Yeah, that. There's one. Two. A tray. Well, fortunately, these are all uh, seemingly pretty close together. That's convenient. All right, one more. Oh, there it is. Somewhere. Here we go. Grab it. Grab it. There we go. Alright, and that's another one done. Now we got one more daily quest. It's this one here. 50 enemies in a certain area. So this is... We're going to travel over there real quick. It's going to be this right here. Now one thing I do actually want to point out real quick. Um, 
if you're grabbing those quests like I was showing you from that in the town, that lady that gives out the uh, those like kind of quests that I was saying you could stack, um, there's certain things like gather 20 minerals. Um, I may do a video if, if it's requested where I show you guys kind of the best places I've found to go farming for resources. But if you're getting minerals, um, there's like a little waterfall kind of in this area that leads you under the mountain here. That's the best place for minerals. The best place I found for vegetables is up here in North Alio because there's this large field and they're just all over the place. Um, the the aquatic stuff, the seafood, I found that kind of right along the beach, all along here. You can easily get your 20 seafood there. And then that really just leaves like the fruit, which the fruit can kind of just be grabbed from wherever, but you can also sort of get that up here. Fruit is the one that's uh, not as easy to farm, but also not difficult. Just a quick little pointer I figured I'd throw out there because it really helped me out knowing those spots. We're going to head over here now. We're going to hopefully real quick kill 50 enemies. I don't like playing this game by myself. I'm one of those. I always try to piggyback off of a group of players, especially because if you're farming PSE bursts for more experience, it's really hard to do by yourself. Just triggering PSE bursts and killing enemies quick enough is much more challenging. Um, let's see. Now that we're here... What I'll do typically is I'll go to a new area and I'll transfer blocks. Which actually, this is interesting, they've cut down the blocks a lot. There used to be way more blocks than this, so I'm assuming that they're going to open up new blocks that are specifically going to be aimed at the new region. Since that's what they did for Retum or whatever, the desert area here. But hopefully we can find a group here. If not, I may just skip this and come back to it. Um, yeah, see I joined a server that's more full. We've got this event here. You can kind of see up in the corner there by the mini-map, those like empty yellow bars, you know, that's completely empty. So, yeah, um, killing 50 enemies. Ah, here's a person right here. It would take me a minute to kill 50 enemies, so I'm not going to stress on it so much. Got a couple people popping up here. I actually really like this aura this guy's got, that electricity. That may be something that I shop for, actually. A new accessory. But, let's see. So we're here now. Um, typically, since this is a Retum area, I would stick to Retum servers. But, let's see what's going on here. It looks like this person may actually be willing to quest. Alright, yeah, let's do this. Because well, If I can get one or two people, this shouldn't take but a minute here. I just didn't want to spend too much of the video, you know, messing with that. Oh, that guy's got a little shield. Let me get this guy then. I'm obviously a primary, a braver, the samurai class. I have been known to use the bouncer, but he was not available at launch for this game. So despite the bouncer being my main in PSO2, I've kind of defaulted back to the braver. Just because I didn't want to have to go back and re-farm a lot of stuff that I've already done in this game. Just a little too repetitive. But yeah, there we go. We got our first little bar for the PSC burst. Already at 10 kills here. Yeah, so this this is okay. I thought this was going to be a bust, but we should be able to get this done. Okay, we got a boss over here. That guy's got a shield. Oh, they all got shields, huh? Got this guy, I guess.
getting a little hectic in here. Alright, well that's my 50 kills, so uh, not to be a poor sport, but I'm out. I am out. <laughs> that's all I needed. I'm going to get back to the new content now. Alright. But that's kind of the gist. Uh, normally, I would just stay in a certain area like that and push for 500 kills as opposed to 50 because you have the weeklies, which are just 500 kills in general. It's only the first 50 that have to be done in a certain area. Oh, hey, check out on the corner there. Uh, we got a little advertisement for an anime expo, which I guess PSO would easily fit into. That's pretty cool. Um, July 1st through the 4th. And actually, this is kind of as far as PSO was going in terms of, like, new content, so it'll be interesting to see what their plans for the future are. You know, is this game going to keep going? Are there going to be urgent quests? We'll have to see. La 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 la. Alrighty. Teleported as close as I could get to the bridge. Um, there's the snow area. It's uh, the theme of today's video. We've all seen it in the game over time. We just haven't been able to access it, but we're finally going to be able to get over there now. The invisible wall should be gone. However, I'd imagine the fir for first-time access, I'm probably going to have to actually use the bridge. This is actually that area I was mentioning that's good for vegetable farming. I think I actually ran over like a mushroom uh, a second ago, which is pretty much what you're going to be looking for here. This oh yeah, and the other thing was tames, uh, which are animals, meat. Uh, those... Those don't really have a certain spot. Um, they can be farmed here, but also I kind of farm them over in, like, central Retum, the desert. There's plenty of, like, camel guys running around, so you should never really have trouble finding meat in this game. All right. See what we're getting into. I'm not really sure what uh, matchmaking I was involved in, but alright. <laughs> Just a scripted little run across the bridge, huh? Couldn't even let me do it. That's silly. Oh, hey, and there's our first uh, little teleporter right there. Ta da! This is a little different. It's like, I guess, loading me into the new area. I don't remember if it did this when uh, Redham came out. Hoping it didn't just freeze. It seems like uh, the game has been a little rough today since maintenance. They're usually pretty good about fixing stuff, but it seems like it's running. Um, Alright, yeah, this is... I'm already digging it. Someone to talk to right here. And one of the cool things about this that I always actually kind of enjoy a little bit more than a lot of the other parts of these games is going around and finding all the these things um, because these are your fast travel stations. So, like, I just found the first one right here. I'm going to be looking for a bunch of these. Um, you want to look for these cocoons, and you want to look for these towers because those give you your skill points. They're the little dungeons. And then, of course, you know, if you find any of these... Or the uh, little trigger quest markers, those are just added perks. But really, it's kind of those three things that I'm going to be scouring the map looking for in addition to doing the quests. So, just a little insight to what my intentions are going to be. Hopefully, somewhere up here, there will also be a, a new town of some sort. But we'll find out. Go ahead and talk to this girl right here. Yeah, I've got our first solo quest here. I should be... 
a decent enough level for everything. I made sure to hit the level cap before this, which was 45, and even put in enough experience to where when the update came out today, it automatically pushed me to 46 because I was so high over the, uh, the bar. But I believe the new level cap is level 60. So keep that in mind. Of course, you know, your power rank or whatever is going to be a factor as well. I tried to get mine pretty high, but that's a little bit of a an aspect of the game I've struggled with a little bit more just because it's, it's where the tediousness really starts to come through. Yeah, it seems like we're still struggling a little bit, but it's working. I just think the servers are, you know, adapting between, like, there's probably more people playing this game right now than have been in the previous weeks, plus new content, you know. But it, it's, it's, it's pretty smooth, all things considered. I mean, we've seen far worse launches in gaming. Um, my objective doesn't really seem to be super clear. It just says explore. So I'm assuming we're just kind of pushing onward. Gonna kill some enemies. Uh, we might see some enemies that we remember from PSO2 from the Tundra regions, like these mammoth guys. These guys are already looking a little nostalgic, so... That'll be interesting. I would imagine we're pushing towards the town, hopefully. I'm digging this environment. I'm always a fan of, like, a snow environment. This is interesting. A little crystal here. It doesn't seem to be anything. Oh, we're going in a cave. Oh, we've got a nice cave. With some dangerous-looking sharp shards there that could just fall at any point in time. Once we exit this cave, we'll be in the Cabarrus region. Got it. Interesting. We're pushing through a cave. All right. The combat in this game does get a little bit repetitive, but I really just kind of... I don't think much when I'm playing this game. It's just kind of mindless for me at this point, so forgive if... You know, I'm just kind of a little repetitive with my combat actions. I don't try combos a whole lot unless it's really necessary. And also, uh, one other thing, guys. I appreciate you guys being really patient. I kind of rushed into this video. Um, this video isn't... It's not really going to be the quality of some of my other videos. Um, I just kind of wanted to get it out of the way. I was having some issues this morning with uh, the OBS program. And... I'm just trying to get this uploaded because it's, in my mind, this video is due today. So, I, I mean, I do hope you guys enjoy the content, but normally I put in, like, more of a frame in these, you know, and I do a little bit more prep, but it's PSO, you know, so my next video will hopefully be an ARC video this weekend. Um, they've got a new map dropping, and I'm going to do probably a quick little run. I don't really play ARC as intensely these days. I'm more waiting for ARC 2 to do a full video on but as far as the ARC-1 video I've got this weekend, I'm just going to pick a spot, build a base, probably use some console commands. So if you guys haven't been familiarized with console commands, it might be a good video for you. Looks like we got a new enemy type. Like something totally new that I've never seen before. That's weird. And he's gone. Almost seemed like he wanted to fight. Up, up, up. There he is. Man, what is this thing? That's a weird looking head you got there, man. And we exposed his weak point already, so frontal attacks on this guy. Kind of like this little body of water here. Um, random little sight. It's not sure what that is right there. It's like little glowies. Now they're gone now, but... Moving on. Continuing through the cave. Yep, more new enemies. This guy looks like a straight hand. and die. All right. Success. Success. Moving on. 
making my way downtown. Uh, got new enemies somewhere. Oh. Oh yeah, this looks like kind of like one of the guys we were just fighting, except they've been tweaked. They look a little different. They got like some helmets on now, some little uh, Ronin hats. <laughs> Ow. We've reached the end. Wow. That actually looked really cool there, what we got a glimpse of there. Might have to do a screenshot. <laughs> you know, you guys know how I am with those screenshots. I always like just like taking little photos. I don't know when I'm playing games of like awesome environments. Yeah, look at that. That just looks cool. Like, what? Of course, you guys know at some point I'm going to have to scale that mountain, right? Alright, I'm going to go ahead and skip this part. Oh, yeah. Um, I feel like there's someone talking to me, but you can't see him on account of my big wing just, like, taking up the screen. <laughs> Wow. Alright, let me get in a little spot here. Forgive me, guys. I need a screenshot here. It's actually not going to make for the best screenshot. I'm going to have to take another one later, but... There we go. Don't mind me, guys. You're over here fighting for your lives, and I'm just admiring the scenery. Try to get these guys weak spot exposed like the last one. like a little teleport. Oh yeah, look at that. That's cool. Looks like that might be the doorway to a town or something over there. We'll have to check that out in a minute. Alrighty. Yeah, we've got some interesting sights here. There's like a little tower over there. There's something right there. It wants us to go there. So let's go ahead and see what that is. And then maybe I'll check out that tower next. Make yourself at home. Don't mind if I do. Maybe this will be less of a town than what I'm used to. Got a new character here. Despite the fact they all look really goofy because of the coloring and the anime like comparison, I guess. But I like this guy's green. That's cool. Go ahead and skip it. That's why I warned you guys. I was like, I don't... The storytelling in PSO has just always been so dry. I don't even invest myself in it, really. And then I gotta respond, though. Um, we're worried? 
Well, I'm not worried because I don't know what's going on, so. <laughs> access the dolls, access old central. Um, I'm just going to go with old central. That sounds more interesting. Oh, yeah, access both. Okay, whatever. Alrighty, so... The quest continues. Oh, except now it's suddenly night. Wow. Everything already looks pretty different with it being night. Very cool, very cool. Oh, look at that up there. There's a fast travel point. Caught it out of the corner of my eye. I'm gonna go up there. Just go grab it, I guess. I mean, no reason not to, right? You wanna turn it blue. There we go. Alright. I really am actually pretty eager to get to the exploring, but I wanna go ahead and just get this quest finished get like a slightly better look of the surrounding area yeah it looks like oh there's another one right there look at that guys yeah that's something i recommend too um if you can get to a high vantage point and then just take off and like fly like this while you're looking around you'll see stuff much easier see like look right there right above my wing there that's a cocoon right there that's one of the things that uh, gives us a skill point that i said we were going to need to find yeah oh so yeah this is a camp oh okay all right well we got this portal so this is, in fact, more or less going to be the town. I would imagine that right there is going to be where the concerts take place. Um, probably have our quest givers. I, I like this town. It's actually kind of colorful here. Once everybody gets loaded in. Yeah, we got some quest givers. Oh, there's a little bit back there. There's some tents. So there's a little bit more to this than I thought. We'll give this a little bit more of an exploration because I'm certainly going to have to talk to some people. But again, I wanted to stay somewhat focused i say that and then i keep getting distracted um i'm gonna have to go grab that cocoon there soon just so i can fast travel to it and access it whenever i'm actually ready to take it on this may actually end up being a two-part video um just because i do kind of want to do like a little decent exploration of this this map and i don't know if i'm going to be able to get everything in this one video here in fact i'm sure i'm not going to be able to so hopefully you guys are down for it um i'll try to put a little bit more effort in the next video <laughs> so it looks a little more for uh excuse me professional la 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 Not sure what we're doing here. Got a little tree. Yeah, whatever. Skipping. <laughs> I warned you guys. Now we're looking for a side quest, apparently. This is kind of cool. A little, like, little scene here. Now I'm curious. I don't think this this little house is going to be much more focused. I guess this is kind of where the leader is going to be. So like how in the first town we had to go up to the second floor of the tower to talk to Crawford. I guess this is where the you're going to be going for most of your story missions on this one. Um, I like some little fancy fox guys here. But let's see what we got going on here. Um guess I'm gonna go ahead and try to run towards that cocoon over here real quick and grab it. Oh well, once it lets me jump, because these people are trying to talk to me. I got a bunch of interesting wildlife and stuff now. Oh, the boxes like seem covered in snow. Oh, in fact, I can't open it because of the snow. That's different. Got a whole other cave. Interesting. See if I can get to that cocoon. I want to say it was right over here somewhere. There we 
got a red chest over here. Go ahead and grab that one. Alright. Well, I kind of got myself turned around here. I thought I saw the cocoon, and I know it's over here. I'm just kind of... I know I'm in the wrong place. See if we can back up a little bit and remind myself of which... Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. And the easiest way to get up there would probably just be to climb up here. Oh, nope, there's a little jump pad right here. Cool. Let's take this. Let me take it, or get as high as I can here and see if there's anything else I can see. Um, not from here. Go ahead and grab this. Alright. Cocoon grabbed. So now... Um, even if you don't have the intention of doing these right away, I always suggest once you see them, actually approach them. Because now that I have approached it on the map, or just on, you know, in general, it appears on the map. So you can come back at any point in time, click it, and load it up right here from the map, even if you're over here at the town or whatever. So you don't have to worry about that. The cocoons and all that will probably be more of a focus in my next video. Just because that's something that I kind of want to just focus all my attention towards once I get going on it. I may do a rough little run through the map and just see what all I can find. Um, obviously there's always going to be a few things you missed the first time around. So I'm going to have to come back. But I'm going to do what I can. Try to find as much as possible. Without having to cheat and look up a walkthrough or anything like that. And it's wanting me to accept a side quest, which I'm assuming is going to be from one of these people here once this loads in all the way. Yeah, this guy right here. Seems to be another new character. An augment capsule, huh? Wow. It's got some interesting characters loading in here. Oh, this is that robot guy. Okay. Yeah, see, here he is talking about our battle power, which is the other side to just your actual level. Kind of telling us some stuff we already knew, but... Now we're talking about a new, I guess, feature that contributes to battle power. He's giving me some materials, so my first one's free, I guess. Augments, huh? That's, I mean, that's cool, I guess. Oh, cool. Yeah, I've already got the battle power needed, so some people might actually hit a little wall here if you didn't have your max, your character maxed out before you got into this, but since I kind of tried to push it as far as I could before this expansion, I'm already ready for the first, uh, the first part of the story here, I guess. Usually when they do the story in this, it's broken up. Like, every couple quests, it's like you need to reach the next level of battle, uh, battle power to be able to progress. But I don't have that issue yet. Oh, yeah, we got... So what I was just doing in the previous town is going to be right here now. This little robot guy is like the new item lab attendant, I guess. Yeah, and we got, like, the personal shop here, the item trader... Uh, quest counter. So, you know, all the, all the stuff you've you've gotten used to over time. Anyway, let's see if we can trade for this capsule. Exchange enhancement materials for an augment capsule. Uh, I don't know if it really matters which you go with. What does I need? Oh, I don't have enough of the stamina capsules. So I guess, really, it's just kind of whatever I have enough for, I suppose. I don't have enough of the stamina ones. How about spirit? Got two. Not enough of those. How about might? No mites. Yeah, this is the part of the game that I don't do great with. 
just because I find it so tedious. I really don't enjoy this part of the game, but you kind of have to do it in order to be able to keep playing. Um, it's unfortunate, too, because I've really kind of stockpiled my capsules. But uh, I don't have enough yet, so we have to come back to that. I'm gonna go ahead and switch up my focus a little bit here. Back to main. It's got another main quest unlocked here, so we're gonna go ahead and go to whatever this is over here. We got another bridge. I'm almost wondering if this guy's got something to say here. Some dialogue, all right. Sort of unclear as to what direction it wants me to go. I'll talk to Manon. Who's Manon? I guess this character has yet to load in. Ah, ha! Ah, that's what it was. <laughs> all right, new solo quest, let's go. And they're killing us with these black loading screens, aren't they? I'm on the search for somebody now. And if it wasn't so tedious to do on the actual editing side, I'd probably go back and cut out a lot of these load times, but it's just such a chore. You guys will have to forgive me for that one. Bear with me. Some more enemies here, and you get to see a nice bigger piece of the actual area. Open space. Just hit me with his butt. Second guy up here. Success. All right. Oh yeah, look, we got a glimpse of the volcano area up there. I imagine we'll get to that later down the road here. Probably going to be a high level area. So I'm not going to be messing with that for a little bit of time still. Might end up actually making a third video um, once I get over to the volcano area. Because I feel like two videos are going to maybe not even give full coverage of this area. But it's like I definitely want you guys to see the volcano. And it's probably going to take me a minute to get over there. I might actually have to increase my battle power too. Which will... Uh, be a whole separate grind that's going to have to take place off screen, but all in due time. These new enemies are really mixing it up.
Aha! Co się dzieje? Man, these guys are tough. They didn't seem so bad at first. You start grouping them together and it's like, wow. I'm already feeling the difference. can't move, so, uh, looks like something's happening. Oh, I was wondering what those were. I saw those earlier. Didn't really have anything to say about it, because I was like, I have no idea what that is, and it didn't really feel like something worth exploring right off the bat, but we're gonna find out now, I guess. Okay, and there's another, looks like a tower, but that one looks like it's not active. A floating board terminal. Oh, are we gonna be like surfing now or snowboarding? Yeah, look at that. What? That's kind of cool. And damage enemies too. Wow. So we're literally making a snowboarding game out of PSO now. <laughs> All right. Um, real quick, I wanted to see what was up with this tower. Um, I'm thinking that either it's gonna something you're gonna have to come back to later, or I just can't activate it right now. Maybe because I'm in the middle of a quest. I don't know. We'll find out. Oops, I missed that one. Yeah, I'm not much of a... Yeah, I totally messed that up. Wow. Not really much into sports games or anything like that, so... I kind of got mixed feelings on this mechanic. It is cool, but uh, not something I'm going to be stressing on as much. Not sure how to do the boost, either. It did mention there being a boost, but uh, the steering is actually pretty bad. <laughs> But it's, it's, it's a fun little new thing to be in the game. Wow. Um, yeah, what was I saying about the steering? Look at this. This is ridiculous. Like, I'm actually trying here. Like, how did I get stuck in this wall here? Like, come on now. Oh, hey, you can turn sharply by holding X. Okay, wow, that makes it so much better. You guys have no idea. Anyway. Might as well just keep your hand on X, like, the whole time. Wow, that's a new enemy. Interesting. Um, am I fighting him? Yeah, I guess I am. How do I get off this thing? There you go. I don't understand what I did, but I got off. <laughs> I guess everyone teleports now. Which, it'd be kind of cool if it was just like one or two enemies, but I don't know if I'm a big fan of the teleporting enemies, because then it creates like... You know, you can't damage them.
was going to use my ultimate on him, but he died. Um... Oh, there we go. Guests? Like, dude, you're out in the middle of the wilderness. What do you mean, guests? <laughs> More new enemies? Kinda. Some bird-type little guys. Oh, wow, look, we found, like, some kind of little secret... Facility or something? I don't know. We'll see. Wow. Oh, I thought we were going to get to see more of the inside of that. Are we maybe now on the other side? Interesting. Oh, new enemies again. Well, these guys look pretty fuck... Like, all around, like, I don't know. They like muscular looking, but they look pretty cool. Oh, I can use my ultimate, I guess, on these guys. ka -chow! Nice! Dispatch them both simultaneously. I guess I'll go ahead and grab this little... Or not. I'm not going to grab that little healing plant, but... I gotta talk to somebody. Oh, it's the woods or something? Interesting. See, now this is actually a good bit away. I'm wondering where this person is. Oh, we, all, we ended up all the way in these, like, ruins here? Yeah, so I guess, like, this kind of little misty shroud over the map is just like yeah we haven't explored that area yet so we kind of came up through here went through a cave got to the town came over here did this and now we're going to head over this way and then probably just start knocking out a bunch of this um but i feel like there's gotta be something in this area as far as like a fast travel point a cocoon anything of that nature so i'm going to do a quick little glance before I totally just move on. Uh, mainly just because those fast travel areas, they just make the game so much more convenient if you can find them early on. Aha, there's one right there. I didn't even need to be up here to catch it. I, but, um, looking for cocoons or anything. The towers are usually pretty easy to spot, so I feel like if there was one of those around, we'd see it. But all right, I'm going to go ahead and grab this, this right here. Like a little natural bridge here. Taking us over into more of the actual mountainous part of the this new environment. Which is actually going to make this kind of interesting because despite it, you know, the size of this new area. It seems like there's going to be a lot of layers to this. 
see what you got to say. Am I ready to get going? All right, well, here we are. Got another missing person. Just says search, but it doesn't have an actual marker this time. Although it's definitely very clear which direction it wants me to head in. Oh, are we actually gonna break? Yeah, I figured these crystals kind of stood out. They must have been something. A throwable object, huh? That's kind of cool. Let's see what we can come up with here. You attack your crystal, you get some stuff dropped, you pick it up. And then, I'm gonna pick more than one up at a time now. Uh, yeah. And then you just hit the regular attack button to throw it. Wow, that's... That's kind of cool. I like that much more than the snowboard improvement. Wow. Alright. Take that. Whoa, they're attacking from above, oh no. Yeah, I was hoping we could break that one too, but I guess not. Oh, that sounds like a shockwave too. That's cool. I guess it wants me to actually kill everyone before we move on, makes sense. Big guy there. Someone's fighting. Let's check it out. Um, gotta clear these guys, though, of course. Magic barrier standing between us and our homie there. He just disappeared. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, that thing didn't drop anything. Are we uh, not doing the crystals anymore? Now oh, here we go. I guess just not all of them are guaranteed to have a drop. Oh, now it's got a drop. Well, making me a liar, PSO. Oh, drone enemies. I kind of like these crystals because they make it uh, a little easier to just kill things willy-nilly without so much button mashing. Alright, so now I guess we're going up. Old photons, huh? They only be destroyed by throwing the shards. Which creates a massive explosion. Alright, I'm down. Oh, he's got some around his head there. Yeah, look at that. They could only be destroyed with these, so... Oh, it didn't even want to lock onto the shards. It just... Yeah, it's uh, sort of silly. Nice try, guys, I guess, but it doesn't work out quite how they'd imagined. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely don't want to mess with this tubby guy. I don't have to. Oh, 
Oh, I got one to explode accidentally. Cool. So we finally find our man. Got some star gems, I didn't notice that. I've got so many star gems, I'm never going to be able to use them all. Oh, more new enemies. I was hoping I'd have some more crystals to just like cheat these guys out, but oh well. I just feel like you could probably break this guy's club, sword, whatever he's got there. Oops, more incoming. Yeah, this one's cool looking too. I got a lot of new enemy types in this update. That's cool, not gonna lie. Forget my PSO class, how do I play as this thing? crystals now. Alright. <laughs> that ended pretty suddenly. I don't see anybody lurking.
Oh, we're returning to the lodge now. Pretty cool view. Looks like that's it down there. Um, got one of those critters just spawned. Looks like there's actually some flares over here. Um, I imagine my next set of weeklies I'll probably be running around in this area. So maybe that'll be in the next video. We'll do another set of uh, dailies or something, but I'll be here. Same thing as before now. I want to head back to the lodge, but I feel like it's worth taking a look around because there's just so much here. Ah, there's a cocoon right there, yep. Um, yeah, let's get this cocoon. Some cool looking, what I imagine, are fruit trees here. Yeah, it's a whole new, that's cool. New trees. All right, we got this cocoon. Now, one thing I want to do before I make the long trek back to town is do kind of what I just did, but from a much higher altitude. There's a lot here. This is actually going to be a kind of an interesting region to sort through because all the caves, all the mountains, just everything that's in this area. Um, it's going to make exploration a little more difficult and noticing certain things. Definitely going to very much need a walk through to get everything, but I'm going to try to get as much as I can. You got some new animal types here where you get your basic Thames meats. So that's cool. Like a quick gander at the map, see where I ended up here. Yeah, see, I'm kind of in the center here. I got that cocoon, but you know there's going to be all kinds of stuff in this area. So, yeah, definitely want to get a better look from up top if I can. Wasn't sure if it was going to completely just let me run up this mountain, so we'll see how high I can get. But I'm going to try something different here. getting a mix of something red in the air. It's interesting. Not sure what that is. Alright, I'm not going to be able to continue that way anymore. Let's try this way. hard because it's hard to take advantage of the jumps in this because you get a double jump technically so you get two jumps and then you can get a third jump off of like a surface but he always wants to like auto trigger the third jump as soon as you hit something and then it kind of messes up your stride yeah that's way too steep right there I see yeah, see like what he just did there, he did the jump before I wanted him to, but looks like we're getting there. One way or another. Oh, we got a whole new plateau up here, actually. Looks like there'd be something up here, maybe in a future quest. But yeah, we s <laughs> we're still nowhere near the top, that's ridiculous. I think I'm just going to go ahead and scale this whole mountain. I said I was going to do it. Jumping mechanic is really not being my friend right now. There you go. Now it's like he doesn't want to do it. 
so close. Um, okay, I was like, I don't know what's going on there. Of course there'd be a treasure box up here. Couple treasure boxes, actually. What the heck? And there's a person? Oh, it's a player. Okay, I thought it was actually like an NPC. I was about to be like, what? Alright, well, I don't think I'm gonna try to stand on the very tippy top of the peak. We're here. We made it. Um, main reason I'm up here is because I was wanting to see what all I could see here. I'm not seeing much. Oh, that, there's a tower right there. A tower and a cocoon. Random little critters. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, and on, honestly, I could actually be too high up, which is to where, like, I wouldn't really be able to see much of anything. So the cocoons that I'm seeing here, let's see which direction this is. Um, down in this way. So yeah, there's got to be something behind me here somewhere too. Then, That's what I'm thinking. Oh, there's a one of the trial thingies. That's cool. I don't really worry about those as much, but definitely always good to find them, get those out of the way. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do a light glide now. We're gonna get off the mountain here. Let's see what we can see. There really doesn't seem to be much of anything at all over here. Um. There could be, again, there could always be a cave or something, you know, hidden down there that's got some stuff in it. So we'll just, I'll have to come back to that. Right now I'm just going to, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Fast travel right there. It's mainly what I was trying to look for. I needed at least one of these. Cool. All right, got that one. Which is cool now because I can actually now teleport to that point. So it's like if I want to do this again... You know, fly over here, grab the cocoon and tower, and then I decide, oh, there's a cocoon right there as well. And I would decide maybe at some point I want to try to come back up here and get another bird's eye view. I can do that much easier now. So that is very what's up. Um, let's see if I can try to remember which direction to head in that cocoon once I get a little de-elevated here. All right, training cocoon towards the tower here also still kind of keeping an eye out deep well Power down. Anything maybe down this direction. Don't see anything at the moment. There's a little cave it looks like right there. At some point I may actually have to go around and explore some of these caves. It's not something I'm really prioritizing right now, but probably definitely gonna have some secrets. Real quick before I head towards that other cocoon, I'm going over here, get another nice little vantage point. It's a little farther away from that other mountain, see what I can see from up here. Oh, there must be one of those, yeah, chests with a shield. I got a couple of drones to destroy. I don't really mess with those a whole lot. Oh, there's a device right there, fast travel. So, I think what I'm going to do for that... Uh, boo -boo -boo. It's like I have to choose now. It's like either I go after the cocoon or I go after that device. I think I'm going to go after the device just because it was easier to see the cocoon from where I was previously. Oh, there's a device right here too. I can just come right back here then. Forget what I just said. Awesome. Keeping an eye out, seeing what we can see.
Oh, there's a cocoon right there, too. Look at that. We're just making some progress now. Alright, we got that one. Um, just gonna go ahead and make my way over to this other cocoon here. Which, lost sight of it. Yep, it was over here, somewhere. There it is. Whoa, we got some little tornadoes down there. What's that about? That must be like an enemy attack or something. Yeah, because there's a marker down there. Definitely a boss unit or something. Alright, another cocoon. So now that I've discovered this one... I've got a quick little gander. Looks like before I teleport out of here. Let's see if there's anything below this. Doesn't look like it, but... All right, cool. Actually, uh, found a decent amount of stuff already. Uh, that's a great start right there. Um, gonna go ahead and I guess we're gonna pop back over here. So this location I believe is where it was. Okay, let's try to get back up here again. Alright, and there's that cocoon I saw. Now, before I fly all the way over there, that kind of looks like the one that we saw earlier when we were close to the town. Yeah, that. in fact, I'm pretty sure that is actually exactly the one we saw earlier. So, gonna ignore that. I feel like... There may be something else in this area, but I feel like there's got to be something up here somewhere. So I'm actually going to go over here real quick. Alright, super convenient. I'm back here now. Um... Still kind of think about that one device that we saw in the previous quest. Um, I should have made a mental note of where that was on the map because I want to go back and see if that's something that we could activate real quick, but... I have a feeling there probably is something over here, but it's... my I'd wager that it's like inside the mountain somewhere. Like there's probably a cave or something, like a real sophisticated underground here somewhere. So I'm not gonna do a quick little fly around, maybe go over here a little bit more towards all this, which, uh, make sure I'm facing the right way here. Yeah, so it's gonna be like this direction. I'm gonna go ahead and just go over here. If I don't see anything, whatever, we'll move on. Cool little view, if nothing else, you know.
maybe try to climb up here now that I'm over here get one last little look at the area before I just give up Ah, new urgent quest. There it is, everybody. Probably going to be doing that one. Uh, just double checking. It really doesn't... I know there's there's got to be something over here somewhere. It's just I'm not seeing it. And there's a cocoon right there. Um, is that one that I've discovered yet? Looks like it. Oh, there goes the OBS freaking out. I've noticed with this game, for whatever reason, it does that every time there's an urgent quest. Um, don't know why, it just does. So I'm going to try not to have that wigging out too much. I'm going to be real brief when I have to look at the map while the urgent quest is going on. But I am going to partake. So I'll have to get through a second or two of the funkiness. Yeah, I'm just not... Oh, there's a cocoon right there. I was about to say, I'm not seeing anything, but... Oh, and there's the device right there. Look at that. I almost would have just missed out on all of that. All right, I'm going to get the device, get the cocoon, turn this quest in, and prepare for the urgent quest. And I think that's where we'll call it on this video. Um, I'm definitely going to do at least one, if not two more videos. The second video will probably be very soon. I'm just going to pick up with the story quests, maybe knock out a couple of the cocoons. Field dash. Yeah, so we've got like field races. That's the kind of stuff that I probably won't mess with a whole lot, but it's there. Alrighty. Now, yeah, that cocoon was right over here. Grab that. Yeah, I don't mean to sound like, you know, just I'm on the hype train, but I think this might be my favorite region so far. I don't know, I just like it. I'm kind of biased towards snowy environments anyway, but this is really cool. Wow, look at these little guys. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? Uh, that's another, that's screenshot worthy. It's like my squad right here. Projectile spotted overhead. Yeah, there's like random drops that can happen. I'm trying to get like the perfect angle to get some of these guys in my picture here. Ta-da! You all have just been a part of another Squeal screenshot. All right. Don't want to waste too much time. Forgive for what's about to happen. Wigging out mode. Ah! Um, yeah, I'm just trying to go back to the town real quick. I got about. 12 or 13 minutes until this urgent quest. Um, so this is actually probably going to end up being a longer video. Hope you guys enjoy it. The next one I'm definitely going to cut down a little bit, but I try not to stress too much on the length. Um, you guys haven't let me know yet that, you know, it's a problem. I kind of have videos of all sorts of length from an hour to two hours to 45 minutes to five minutes to 30 seconds, you know, so... But this one's going to be a little longer. A little, a little longer than I originally actually planned. Um, mainly because of the urgent quest. Uh, I've got less than 12 minutes now, so yeah. Be able to keep track of that. Actually, I'm close enough to where the urgent... Yeah, the urgent quest is right over the hill there, so I may not even have to pull up the map again. And just water down this video with that OBS glitch. But let's get this done real quick. And actually, it's cool, in addition to doing this new urgent quest, um, you know, it'll also be able to knock out one of the, or two of the weekly orders. Alright, that's done. Wow, it's this person again. <laughs> Just showing off over here. 
that's what this game's all about for some people, though. I mean, it's, there's like a whole fan base that's just about having the big knockers and the minimal clothing and goofy customizations. Which I'm about it. Um, so now we're looking for Lost Central. We gotta talk to a guy. Which, I'm gonna put a pan in the quest line now. Um, this quest is gonna be where the next video picks up. Wow, we're really close to the town, and it's kind of interesting to have all these just random enemies out here running around right outside the town. So actually, let's see. I could possibly do a cocoon, I suppose. I'm just trying to think of how to kill 10 minutes. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and just head over here to where the urgent quest is actually taking place. Oh, there's a cave right there. Alright, well, well, no, that's the cave we came through. Never mind. I was going to say I would explore that cave, but that's the one cave we've already been through, so... Only cave I don't need to worry about. Okay, yeah, it's right there, so... Where's that cocoon that was nearby? There it is. Let's just run over here and let's see what all this cocoon's going to entail really quick. While we're waiting for this urgent quest. The urgent quests, I believe, typically go on for about half an hour. And they drop on the hour. Um, well, not every hour, but just, you know, when it's going to be available, it's typically, like, at the hour mark. And you get 15 minutes of prep time. And then you got 30 minutes to either complete the quest or, you know, take a little longer to match make if you're in the middle of something. Speaking of caves, actually, too, there's another cave right here, it looks like see maybe what this is about. Oh, it's not really a cave at all. It's just a little crevice. Oh, this one, I should be able to do this one. Um, it's just a question of how long is it going to take. Join, party, and start. Let's see if there actually is a group I can join. Uh, wow, this person's already level 53. Oh, they've already started the quest. Yeah, I never really have any luck matchmaking for these. You can, technically, but... Even at launch, I've never had any luck with these. Um, there's generally multiple objectives you can see kind of on the left there. I generally just run through these and try to get them done. I don't worry so much about the side objectives. Um, this one, the objective is just reach the finish point. So, especially since we're kind of on the clock now with the urgent quest, um, that's going to incentivize me even more to just rush through this. But I kind of wanted to just figure to get a cocoon in this and kill the next eight minutes or so while we're waiting for that urgent quest. I think that was a time booster, if I recall. Looks like maybe you're meant to snowboard through this one, so I guess we'll go ahead. backflip, yeah. Still getting used to the controls on this thing. As you can see, I'm not doing well, but hey. So this is a lot more straightforward than I thought it was going to be, honestly.
Ah. Oh, you only get so many falls. That's uh, good to know. Not a good start to this. <laughs> I'm almost wondering if I can just maybe make this work on foot. But I don't know, because these ramp things don't pop up when you're on foot. Oh, come on. I am not digging this snowboard. I am not going to lie, guys. I really don't like this. <laughs> Do a sharp turnaround coming up here real soon. Yeah, right here. Obviously, not worrying about time or anything at all. I've put like very little effort into this, as you guys can tell. Just trying to get through it, really. Hey, the finish point. So that was a little frustrating, but kind of more straightforward than what I thought it was going to be. We didn't even see a single enemy. But just like that, finished it. Uh, yeah, and I didn't complete any side objectives. But there you can see reward. One skill point. So now you would go back to the, uh, the little person in town. And you could spend a skill point, since that's really the only way to get skill points at this point in the game. It's just through the cocoons and the towers. I think the towers give you two. It's like two or five. I want to say two skill points, that is. Whereas the cocoons will each give you one for completion. But cool. I thought we were going to have maybe a little bit more of a time crunch doing that one, but that was fairly simple. I still got a couple minutes to kill for the urgent quest, so I think I'm going to make my way back over there, and we're just going to hang out for the last minute or two, and then get that quest going. Assuming, of course, I have the battle power to take it on, which I should, but that may or may not be a factor. Alrighty, that's that. Oh. Yeah, I think we just witnessed a meteor or whatever hit the ground. Didn't exactly see where it landed. It looked like it was down there, but... Oh, well. Part of me kind of wonders what's coming out of that volcano over there. You guys just see that like, little beam that's just going straight up into the sky. Oh, one other thing I guess I could point out, assuming I can see it from here. Um, which actually I don't think I can. I noticed uh, in the main town, as far as like looking around and stuff, like obviously when the game first came out we just had the first area and you could kind of like look over there and see like the weird rock formations that ended up being the Retum expansion the second one and then you can see over here with the ice mountain and the volcano um yeah right there that ended up being the third expansion but i also did notice above the first town there's like a floating fortress or something in the sky and i it could be nothing 
could just be a visual, but considering the way they've handled everything else in this game so far, and I don't feel like the game is just going to slow down after this, it stands to reason that we may actually end up in the sky eventually, or up in space, for a future expansion. That being said, we are ready for this urgent quest now. Let's go ahead and load up the acceptance menu. Aha! Uh -huh. I am not at the required battle power. In fact, not even close. Um, you can see there I need 2506 in order to take this on. Um, looks like this is a boss one, so it, it would be a fairly simple urgent quest. I imagine the guy will be right here. You fight him with a group of people. Um, my battle power is 2211. I'm a spit away from uh, gaining a level, which... I had no idea I'd already gained so many levels. I'm already almost 55. Wow. Shows how much I've been paying attention, guys. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to gain some more levels. So, the urgent quest, I apologize for leading you guys on. Um, I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to take it on, and in fact, I will not be able to. So, that's where we're going to end this video. Um, second video, going to be coming real soon, guys. Whether it's going to be Friday's upload or if I decide to do ARC, I'm not sure yet. But either way, the next video for this game will be coming next week um, at the latest. Going to continue the story and maybe knock out a couple more cocoons. And maybe by that point I'll be able to tackle the urgent quest. But that's the forecast for this game. A um, little bit of a messy video, so thanks for guys for bearing with me. Um, let me know what you guys think of the new content so far and if you're going to be playing PSO. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.